Hey, how y'all doing? This is your brother, Brian Menadis. This is Team Arati, everybody. I'm Team Arati, Soul Lightning. Peace to you, peace to your home, peace to your family, peace to your community, peace to your ancestry, peace to my community, peace to my ancestry, and peace to the nation that you, I, and they are creating. Peace also to the Godic forces, to the Great Spirit above, to the Mother Earth below. Peace to all y'all. How y'all doing? So, as kind of a follow-up, as follow, uh, as kind of a follow-up to um, the piece that I did on um, uh, black music. Um, I want to address two things in this video. The first one is what is whiteness, and the second one comes out of a conversation I was having with somebody at work about soul. And I want to start with soul first because this is very, very, very important. So, I was explaining to uh, the person at work that black music is able, real black music has this sort of soul to it. And the reason why it has the soul to it is because it's kind of this vibrational frequency that you can strike, but you can't measure. You can't fake soul. Soul is either present or it's not. It's, it's, it is a higher form of... Of existence which you have to tap into and once you tap into it you become it so it really is speaking through you now the unification and uniqueness of soul not only within the individual because you know we all are born well not all of us but most of us are born with the kernel so we can have that that possibility of soul but it doesn't necessarily unblossom it doesn't open up so we can actually express it the uniqueness of soul within each person is very potent especially in music and it is the synthesizing of that uniqueness that creates incredibly rare and impressive sounds now when i say impressive understand i'm not saying something that kind of makes you giddy and you're like oh my god this is great no 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 i'm talking about a higher way of looking at the word impressive it's what impressive is actually supposed to mean where you literally take something and you press it onto somebody you press it on somebody that's when i'm talking about impressive that's what i'm talking about being able to synthesize the uniqueness of characters of personality of individual souls now you have to understand soul is is, is a dual concept soul which exists within us is again that kernel that grows but then soul <clears throat> is also a vibratory frequency which you can actually strive to the reason why this is is because there's both the soul which is in us and there's the soul that's outside of us or around us which technically soul is always within us and around us but you know again you have to work to get there so you can reach for soul and never get there once when you actually are able to unite the inner soul and the outer soul that soul which is universal and then there's a third soul which is the um which is the cosmic soul if you can uh, just uniting two of them uniting the um the planetary soul i call it <clears throat> and the soul which we have inside of ourselves <clears throat> i'm trying not to sneeze while i'm doing this um so if you can unite that that causes a spark within you and it it just expands tremendously and you are able to then do things that seem out of the ordinary now you can fake you can fake like you like like you're you're working from that soul connection um, but you can't fake soul so there are other vibratory frequencies which align with the heart in the mind but not with the soul the soul actually aligns with 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 all of your chakras plus some more which is very important to understand so um if you are able to transcend the individual and go with um, the soul internally, externally, and the cosmic soul, there is an expansion that happens within you and outside of you. And you literally start to light people up as you go about. Because now you're pulling in energy and you're essentially having energy rain around you. Now, this is important because black people we naturally have the gift of soul we attract soul we want to um, express soul 
And so we have this dynamicness, which we automatically express. Now, the person who I was talking to about this um, in uh, at, at work actually made a very good point, and it, it really didn't occur to me until the person made it, that when I talk about soul, I always talk about it in relationship to black music, because that is really just the simplest way to explain it. Um, black music gave the world soul. It really did. And by the world, I mean people. Um, this is not to downgrade anybody else's or degrade anybody else's music. Um, black music was there to light that spark so your music can all go to another level. It's not saying that your music didn't have soul. In fact, every music has soul when it is done properly and when it is done to its truest element. Black music <clears throat> gave us this, this floor that we were supposed to work from. Well, what he asked, what he, what he suggested was that, you know, he's the wrong color to express soul. And I looked at him and I go, soul has nothing to do with color. I said, soul really does have nothing to do with color. Um, there is white soul music too. Not this blue-eyed nonsense that they're talking about, which is bothersome. But white or European, it's really European soul. There's different strands of European soul. And if you go to Europe and you actually look for <clears throat> indigenous music, you will actually find those uh, strands of European soul music over there. It has nothing to do with color. But with black people, we light it in other people. So that's why we are, we express soul very, very easily. While other people uh, may find trouble with that. You know, they may not be able to do it as well as us. Um, this now moves me to uh, what is white. And this is actually very simple. If you go back to the uh, late 1800s, the 19, the early 1910s, you'll see something which will. Sorry, I had to pause that. Um, which will actually shock you. Uh, most of the Euro most of the Europeans who live in the United States are not white. They think they're white, but they ain't white. If you are not of a specific stock, and I'll leave you to actually find out what that stock is. You aren't white. If you have a an ounce of one of the degraded, deformed, genetical strains in your blood, this is why they used to use the one drop rule with black people. They use the same thing in Europe. If you have some of these degraded strains like the Irish, um, they don't count the Swedes, even though sometimes. Uh, but there's a whole list of them. If you have any of those, man, you can't even... Don't even come to come in the building talking about your wife because you're not. Now this is important because it has been said before that white is a mindset, not a color, and they're right. The person who said that is right. That'd be Dick Gregory, actually. But um, that's right. White is a mindset. Just everything on this planet is frequency, and you have to get used to that. You have to get used to that. Everything on this planet is frequency. And the more you delve into not being white and getting back in touch with your European order. Now, how do you find out what your European order is? You're getting these genetic tests which are like, oh yeah, you're this percentage of that and that percentage of that. So you're amalgamation. That is not how you get in touch with your ancestral order. Mm -mm. How you get in touch with your ancestral order is very simple. One listen meditate and listen meditate and listen meditate and listen to your ancestors where are you from where does your strain come from and you're gonna have to block out some stuff but if you do it for about a month month and a half you practice just silent listening five minutes a day you'll be surprised what starts coming up two once you find out where you're at and actually most of the time you don't even have to do the listening um take a map Look at it and see what country attracts you. See what country attracts you. And then go to Wikipedia, go to another encyclopedia, and find out information <clears throat> about the tribal groups 
that were in that specific country. And then, listen to yourself. What tribal groups attract you? And pick one or two of them and start researching them. Figure out what their gods are, their, re what their religion was, things like that. Because that's ultimately likely going to be your ancestral um, doorway. Two, believe it or not, that was still for one. Two, once you have that information, start meditating and connecting with them. Now, every, I know this is going to suck for a lot of Europeans. Every single one of your tribes have an African connection. Every single one. Every single one of them. So, <clears throat> don't be surprised by that. I apologize. I'm trying not to sneeze. But um, don't be surprised by that. Um, and then the third thing is journal. Journal, journal, journal. And learn how to tell the difference between the nonsense which is trying to be fed to you by the external and the realness which is trying to be fed to you by the internal. Alright, because I need to go and blow my nose, I'm going to say uh, that'll be it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know the deal. Leave them down. Leave them down. Alright, much love to all of you. I'll talk with you again. Peace.